Comedian is a cruncher, a muncher, and a luncher. In short, the man likes to eat. He's a human being. Give it up for Chris Collier! Yo, 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 yo. I need to get something off my chest before we start quick. Um, what's the deal with boobs? I don't get it. I don't get why they're like attractive. Like, they're just mammary glands, guys. That's it. I don't get it. And I think humans are the only animals who find mammary glands attractive. Like, I don't think cows are out there like, like bulls are out there like, oh man, look at that cow. Got pretty nice udders. I just wanted to mash them together with my boobs. <laughs> Uh, I'm feeling pretty good about myself, though, right now. Um, I, uh, I was uh, accidentally, I accidentally played a minute role in a YouTube video lately, and uh, I was checking out the comments on it. One of the comments was Chris Collier colon eye candy for the ladies. Thank you, erotic cheese too. <laughs> right back at you. <laughs> <laughs> um, also, another reason why I'm feeling pretty good right now, uh, I was on the, I had to take a caddy bus in to get here, and a woman on the caddy bus called me sir, and I was like, oh man, this girl totally thinks I'm an adult. <laughs> it doesn't happen often, guys. I, I don't think you guys get what I'm trying to say. I tried to mug somebody last weekend, and they were just like, oh, this is adorable. Where are your parents? Can we get you home? Oh, yeah. <laughs> mm, people everywhere. You have a pretty nice beard. I like your beard. It's nice. What's your name? Alex. Nice, Alex. Yeah. What's your, uh, what do you do? What's physics. Physics? Yeah. Nice. Cool. What, do you do anything besides physics, or do you just do physics all the time? <laughs> I barely do physics, actually. Oh. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do besides <laughs> physics, if you barely do physics? I uh, mostly play video games. Nice. Yeah. Right, cool. What, what video games? Street Fighter. Ah, Street Fighter. I love Street Fighter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all know the campus preachers? Like, that sometimes are outside of the hub? Um, I saw one the other day, he was outside of the hub and he was preaching to his buddy, his middle-aged buddy, and it kind of reminded me, I think campus preachers are a lot like uh, Jesus sent his uh, best friend to go and try and get his ex-girlfriend back in a relationship with him. Like, he was like, he's like, Jesus loves you. Jesus loves you so much and you don't even deserve it. You don't even deserve it. Jesus loves you. And you know what? If you don't love Jesus back, you can just go to hell. Um, I hang out in the hub a lot. Um, I'm a bit of a hubby, so to speak. Um, but I witnessed an interview going on in the hub, and one of the questions that the interviewer asked in it was, "If you could be any building on camp, building or structure on campus, what would you be and why?" I didn't hear the answer because I was laughing too hard. <laughs> but it kind of reminded me of an interview I was in a little while ago, and at the end of the interview, it was like with this kind of short, stocky woman, and I was like, at the end of the interview, she was like, so do you have any like questions for us about our company? And I was just like, yes, if you could be any animal, what would you be and why? And she was like, hmm, I'd probably be a whooping crane. <laughs> I hope I don't need to explain to you why that's ridiculous. <laughs> But I will anyway. 
She had that right on the tip of her tongue. She took no time to explain it. She was just like, yeah, whooping crane. She thought about this before, guys. She wants to be a whooping crane. <laughs> If I could be any building or structure on campus, though, I would probably be the little fountain that only like shoots water like three inches <laughs> off the ground by the biobehavioral health. Because, <laughs> you know, I'm just trying to find my purpose in life, too. <laughs> um, I'm a... I have a photographic memory, but only with really awkward situations. <laughs> Which is really unfortunate because as soon as something awkward happens to me or I remember something I did that was awkward in the past, it's just it just opens up the floodgates for every awkward thing, wave after wave, to come and hit me and leave me physically crippled for hours and it's awful. But like it could be anything. Like somebody could just I think they're waving at me, and I like turn. I wave at them, and they turn around. There's somebody behind me. They're waving at. He's like, oh gosh, no. This reminds me in elementary school. I called Brian the wrong name, and everybody started laughing at me. I felt so dumb. And in seventh grade, I had a meatball marinara from Subway, and I pooped myself in the middle of my town. There was nothing I could do about it. It just came out. <laughs> That's all I got, guys. <laughs>